Today we're evaluating uh, Blue Bua's reverse osmosis countertop system. Uh, this system is actually really interesting. It's got four stages uh, here in the back and uh, four different levels for fill filling the uh, carafe here with uh, RO water. You can either uh, go 0.5 liters, 1 liter, or 1.5 liters is actually when it's full at that 1700 ml max level. Uh, if you look on this side, there's a tank here and to get the one and a half liters full you basically fill the tank up to the max level here and then wait let the system run and fill the carafe there uh, it comes with uh, cleaning tools for the pot and for the inside of the ro system you even get this cool little water bottle i mean setup is really straightforward um the only so there's literally you plug it in and there's two buttons here this button is for your volume level and then this is this base you basically pick 0.5 liters one uh one liter or 1.5 liters here and the interface here shows you what you're making push this to start the system to start making ro water uh to clean the system you have to run uh four to six cycles on this which basically means filling the tank to max and then letting the system run through four to six times and it's gonna actually clean out the filters. So you're probably wondering where are the filters? Um, if you look on this side, I was really impressed with this. You know, for sp space saving size, um, it really packs a punch on a really good RO quality water, even with the size. It's no longer than about 13, 14 inches uh, long and maybe about eight inches wide. And you can see here we have a polypropylene filter, coconut carbon block filter, reverse osmosis membrane, and a post-carbon filter for taste. These are really cool because changing them out is actually relatively straightforward. They all need to be switched out within one to two years. Um, and, and it actually has um, how often to change them out here. So you can see on the RO membrane filter, that's every two years. The PCF filter is every year. The CTO filter is every year and the P, uh, polypropylene filter is every year. To change out a filter, you simply place your finger down here, pull it forward, turn it, and it comes out. There, there, there's even a uh, code on there. You can scan that with your uh, phone and uh, find out where to buy the filters from. The, uh, the, the back of it actually goes on really, really seamlessly. You just uh, line it up this and then push down and that's it uh anyways uh like i said it it doesn't take up a lot of space it's worth uh the amount of money i think it's 369 or something like that on amazon but i'm just impressed once again with the quality of this system uh the like i said the the, the, the work that you have to do when you first get this is you got to fill this fill this carafe up to the max line and basically flush out those filters because there's a protective coating in those filters you need to flush out. So you'll get, after four to six times of uh, filling it to max and then running it through the system, the first two times it's gonna fill the filters. You may not get any water in the carafe, uh, but after that, it will start to fill this and you will see black sediment in here from the coconut carbon block filters and stuff. But after four to six runs with it, full, six full pots, you should have super clean uh, reverse osmosis water that's under, you know, 30, 50 parts per million on the total dissolved solid scale and, you know, get rid of never, you'll never have to buy bottled water again. And it, it, it's really easy. It just, it just goes in like that, put the top on and you're basically good to go. So, uh, give it a try. If you don't want to tank RO system or have to do any sort of, uh, complicated plumbing, then definitely give the, uh, Blue Bull reverse osmosis countertop RO system a try. I think you'll really enjoy it.